The Storm Prediction Center has placed portions of the Midwest from near the Mississippi River eastward towards Pittsburgh under a moderate to s under a risk for severe weather, the highest risk level being moderate. Tornadoes are, oc are occurring in the Midwest. The storm system, we are now we are on the southern half of the storm system, the aka the warm front. We should see some we could see some thunderstorms later. However, these thunderstorms will arrive at night, despite their moving at 60 to 70 miles an hour towards the east. The cold front is moving at 60 miles an hour. The storms are moving between 60 and 70 as well. These storms still will not arrive until tonight. We could get some thunder and some steady rain overnight. First of all, I hope you changed your clocks. It is now two, about 2 o'clock p.m. But anyhow, the, so anyhow, that's what we have. Severe weather will not be likely in our area, although some gusty winds and small hail would be po will be possible. Instance in the thunder in the thunderstorms that arrive, in the first thunderstorms that arrive. Otherwise, thunderstorms will see some wind wind gusts to thirty. Rumbles, otherwise, we'll see showers with a few rumbles of thunder, wind gusts to th and wind gust, but when we wind gust to thirty. We are pretty much st we are in a stable pretty much in a stable air mass, right now. With a slight instability, actually. We don't really have enough instability to declare a possible severe weather outbreak or even a severe weather event. Keep an eye out, but we'll keep an eye out, but severe weather is not likely. After the severe weather or thunderstorms would ever pass tonight, temperatures will be in the forties, upper four will be dropping into the low forties for a couple of days in a few day in couple of days from now but they'll still but the temperatures will rebound back into the 40s and 50s throughout the next coming weeks that's your forecast keep an eye out tonight for possible strong thunderstorms